Okay, let me let me admit her. Okay. She's connecting. What is that? <laughs> okay, I'll have to end this. Hi. What is that horrible noise? That was Boogie's phone. It was like a like fingernails scratching against the blackboard or something. <laughs> so you made it. Finally, apologies for the late reply. Traffic in New York, in oh. Queens, well, in the states in general, it's it's crazy. Yeah, tell me about it. Now, is this the first time for you to be in New York? Yes, it is, and in the states also. <laughs> really? Oh, okay, that's wonderful. So, what are your first impressions of of the United States? It's very much like the way movies portray it. It really is the big apple. It's the land of opportunities. I love the fact that I came in December, so I'm seeing all the Christmas lights. I love lights. I'm fascinated by the infrastructure, how large, how tall it is. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Now, um, I was reading some of your uh, bio from the Miss Universe website. And it says that you were uh, born in Sydney, Australia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How old were you when you went to the Seychelles? I was just a few months old. So my parents moved to Australia with uh, lots of ambitions. My mother was a model and my father was aspiring to be a professional football player in Australia. So both of them achieved their dreams. My dad played the leagues in Australia. My mother modeled. And after a while, they decided, you know what? It's time to settle down. Let's have a kid. And then came Gabriella. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, did your mother compete in a pageant before? Yes, she's participated locally within the Seychelles. So she okay. definitely has that baggage and that background. Oh, whose dog is that? I hear dog barking. <laughs> That's Boogie's dog. <laughs> How many dogs does he have? <laughs> one, 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 one. But it's fine. One chose fine. I love animals. So definitely she makes he makes me feel at home. That's for sure. Okay. Well, of course, people are wondering, what on earth are you doing in Boogie's, Boogie's apartment? Uh, for those of you who don't, who don't know Boogie Rivera, he is a designer. He's a Filipino fashion designer and is a good friend of mine. He has dressed uh, a lot of uh, beauty queens, you know, both Filipino and non-Filipino queens. And he and his partner are actually hosting you and Miss uh, Universe Mauritius, correct? Yes. Yeah. 100%. So Boogie has welcomed me into his home. He's been allowing me to sightsee the States, New York, Queens. So I feel extremely blessed and humbled that Boogie opened his arms to me. I'm far away from home. So his gesture, as noble as it is, it's made me feel much more at home and much more relaxed. Now, how in the world did you meet each other? Right. So my national director actually has direct contact with Boogie. I'm pretty sure my national director was amazed by the magic that Boogie creates. And basically, that's how they created contact. And through my national director, he linked me up through Boogie. And Boogie is now creating my preliminary and final gowns. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> now, uh, would you like to give us some hint what your gown is going to be like? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So definitely my gown, being back after 27 years, I definitely want to impress the universe. And with the new changes that's happening in this universe, I wanted to reflect a transformative and dynamic woman, as well as portray 
my elements, my personality. And uh, to me, my personality is best described similarly like a packet of Skittles. It's full of sunshine. It's full of joy. It's bursting with colors. So that's the hint I can give you. It's bursting with colors. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Now, like you mentioned, Seychelles competed before in Mission Universe, but that was a long time ago, probably way before you were born, okay? Before yeah. your time. Now, of course, um, I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of people uh, out there who have never heard of the Seychelles or where it is located. Would you like to give us some information about your country, where it's situated, what languages are spoken, and what the culture is like? 100%. So I come from the beautiful islands of Seychelles. It's an archipelago of 115 islands in east of Africa within the Indian Ocean. So it's next to Kenya and Somali. It has neighboring islands such as the Chagos Islands, Maldives, Mayotte, to name a few. And basically, it's such a small island that we just reach 100,000 people so okay. that's how small it is everybody knows each other and we speak three languages english french and creole so we've got a very high literacy rate education is free within the seychelles really? and the culture is pretty much dynamic honestly we have ancestors from africa we have ancestors from asia europe so it's a mixed culture that for anyone that wants to visit the Seychelles, they will always feel at home, they will always feel welcome. And I could go far to say that Seychelles is a universe in itself. You'll always find a piece of home in Seychelles. Wherever you come from, you will always be welcomed within the Seychelles. Well, since you mentioned that, I've never been to the Seychelles. <laughs> so well, you're very much maybe, welcome. Maybe, to the Seychelles. Maybe, Boogie, maybe Boogie and I will go together. <laughs> <laughs> visit you sometime that's yes. wonderful now you mentioned your country uh was it a former colony of the french and the british at the same time yes okay. so before it came a sovereign country it was first under the french colony so Seychelles was quite a spice hub. It was a trading route within the Indian Ocean. And it was actually seen as a hideout. It had an abundance of coconut trees, palm trees. So any ship that needed redocking would always come to Seychelles because it had this geographic point within the Indian Ocean. Right. And because of its uh, geographic points and its amazing benefits, it attracted the British colony also. So we moved from the French and we went to the British colony. And in 1979, we then decided to become a sovereign state. So okay. since then, we've been sovereign, we've been independent, but we do have strong ties with the French colony and with the British colony. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, I'm just reading some of the comments in the chat box, and we have people watching. Uh, my good friend William is saying hello. Uh, another Hi. friend of mine, um, uh, Math Wiz, he says, Mabuhai, which is Filipino for hello. Sending love and support. Mabuhai. Sending love and support from the Philippines. And um, uh, oh, our good friend Brian Javier. Hi, Brian. He says, hello, hello. Happy Miss Universe. Happy Miss Universe Seychelles. So that's good. Yeah, people, people I are watching. The love and the positivity. People are sending love. Now, speaking of positivity, as you know, uh, Miss Universe um, has an entirely new owner. Mm -hmm. And it has uh, made several changes in uh, in the requirements. Now, what do you think of Miss Universe now accepting uh, married women or single women with children or divorced women effective next year? What is your position on, on those changes? Right. So when you think of Miss Universe, the title itself, Universe, shows how dynamic and how volatile there is to so much changes. So to me, honoring these new changes and these new developments, it's amazing because it is a platform for women. 
and women are not just limited to single or a certain requirement. So I think it's amazing because it is allowing women to forego, to create a new path, to create a new impact. It's amazing, but it's going to take time because people are so used to seeing a certain type of Miss Universe. But here we are as me, myself, Miss Universe Seychelles, we're changing the narrative, we're creating new chapters. So it's something that people are going to take time to adapt to but these are changes that are needed we need to see new perspective and we need to give these women equal opportunities to shine also mm -hmm. that's that, that's a very good um answer because you know when people say you know especially people who do not believe in in the power of pageants they still have this misconception that pageants exploit women uh that that women are basically uh cattle you know their bodies are being constantly observed on stage you know while they were swimsuit and swimwear but little do they know that pageantry has changed a lot over the years 100 percent. in my case for someone who wasn't involved in pageantry who got thrown in the game I found that pageantry really developed me as a woman. It allowed me to move away from the narrative of a girl. It's allowed me to explore my strengths. It's allowed me to see my weaknesses, what needs to be worked on. And today, if I am a phenomenal woman, it's because of the platform that pageantry has given me to amplify my voice as well as the voices of others. Exactly. Now, going back to your uh, bio, I I read that uh, you've experienced back-to-back -back losses of family members to suicide. And because of this experience, you have made uh, mental awareness as your platform. Now, question for you. Let's say a good friend of yours uh, comes up to you and tells you that he or she no longer wants to live how would you approach the situation you know sometimes when you're faced with these situations you do have a lack of words so definitely the first thing i would do is to give a hug sometimes we forget the importance and the power that a hug can give um, hello. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. There. <laughs> All right. Um, yes. So definitely, I think that the power of a hug can make a difference. Right. But then it's reinforcing the values of them knowing their worth, seeing their importance. Sometimes the world is cruel enough to make us believe that we're not important or we don't have much value here. But that is not the case. And because of that, aside from giving a hug, I would definitely remind them of their worth, remind them of their importance and allow them to see that I as a human being, I genuinely care for them to be there. And if I care, mm -hmm. imagine how your parents care, imagine how your close friends care. Sometimes you need to begin with knowing the fact that your circle cares genuinely for you. And when you do know that, then you can use your power to influence others to realize and see that perspective also. Mm -hmm. um, how was your Christmas? How did you spend Christmas Day? Right. So Christmas was very different. I was far away from home, but mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to spend it with the Filipino community here oh. in uh, Queens. New York. And it was amazing because, wow, they're very warm and friendly people. And I could just click and get along with them because in the Seychelles, we have large Filipino community. So really? I was eating. They were making me feel welcome. We had karaoke. <laughs> Basically, I didn't feel away from home. And that's amazing. It's a wonderful feeling to know that I wasn't alone. And I was just laughing and smiling. It was an amazing night. Okay, now be honest. How much food did you eat and did you gain any weight? <laughs> okay, I'm being honest. Ever since I landed in the States, I have been eating like I am a foodie. 
I love food. I think that is the best way to experience the culture, to know the history of somewhere and its surroundings. So I have been eating. I'm pretty sure I gained a bit of weight, but that's something I want to reflect in Miss Universe, that it's okay to be vulnerable. It's totally normal to gain a few pounds, don't worry. Right. But then again, I have such a fast metabolism and I'm pretty sure I've been burning, honestly. That's wonderful. Well, I, I would think that you had been shopping in New York City and <laughs> That in itself, you know, can can help you burn a lot of calories, correct? <laughs> Definitely been sightseeing, um, been using my legs a bit to walk, visiting. So I've definitely burned off what I've eaten. So um, I'm kind of thinking what I'm going to eat for dinner also. So definitely I can't wait for that. Well, you can always try uh, pizza because New York City has some of the best pizzas. So I've heard, so I've heard, mm -hmm. um, I think that's on my bucket list. In fact, if there's any recommendations for where I should eat, what I should eat, um, everybody needs to drop it in that comment box. <laughs> and as you know, ha have you been to uh, Times Square? Because there's a lot of food trucks everywhere. Yes, that was the first place I visited. And I was fascinated by the infrastructure and by the lights. Mm -hmm. Definitely the most one of the most iconic places here in the States. And if you come to the States, you definitely need to go to Times Square. Because oh, that's how you know you yeah. visited the States. <laughs> Exactly. Because uh, as you know, New York, New York City is like the most exciting uh, city on earth. Maybe after Paris, maybe after Paris, <laughs> but that's debatable. <laughs> that's debatable. Now, okay, so when do you actually leave for New Orleans? Right. So the 3rd of January, I am supposed to go and arrive in New Orleans. That's where I'll be registering for Miss Universe. Um, that's where I'll definitely be confirming my participation as Miss Universe Seychelles. So it's ticking. It's We're so close to arriving to that date, and I'm extremely excited. That's wonderful. So you go to New Orleans for the first time. This is your first ever visit to New Orleans, yeah. correct? Okay. So how much, how much have you studied about the culture of the city? Did you prepare yourself? Definitely quite a bit because New Orleans definitely has that Creole culture exactly. and that's something the islands have so it's definitely home away from home we do have the French Quarter in New Orleans so definitely feel my French side coming out also so I'm definitely excited because I will be in another home and I'm extremely excited the food the cuisine yeah. oh my god the cuisine the Creole cuisine I'm excited for that the spice the spice. flavor mm -hmm. yes and they also <laughs> and they yeah and they also love uh, music they're into old yes, jazz. the home of jazz. Mm -hmm. Exactly, the home of jazz. This exactly. is such an amazing uh, genre of music. It's soothing. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, growing up, I studied history at school because I wanted to become a history teacher. So it's definitely taking out my historic side because it is a state full of lots of culture and history. Exactly. Now, speaking of food, uh, New Orleans, besides Cajun cuisine, they're also famous for what they call beignets, the big sweet donuts, yes. deep fried donuts. Yeah, you should definitely try them. That is, you know, if you feel like... On the bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. On the bucket list. And so is Po' Boy. Po' Boy yes. is also on the bucket list. Definitely. Good. So I'm extremely excited. Like Miss <laughs> Universe in Louisiana, New Orleans, it couldn't have been any better. Exactly. Now, of course, you know, uh, this year's pageant is going to be much shorter than usual. Uh, I believe what, like less than 10 days. I think once you get there, you start yeah. the registration and the fittings and then immediately you're whisked away to do the photo shoots and whatnot. Yeah. So it's packed. <laughs> It's, it's jam-packed and probably you're going to start rehearsing maybe the day, la the day later, you know. Now, um, uh, have they assigned you a roommate yet? Not yet. Not so yet? perhaps when we register, we're going to know who our roommate is. Who but do you want to be your roommate? Our, uh, 
okay, that's so hard because there's like 84 <laughs> sisters. That's like telling me to pick my favorite food. That's difficult. <laughs> but honestly, whoever I fall with, I am such an adaptable, fun-loving person. And I want to learn from all of these girls. So whoever I fall with, I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm excited. I'm buzzed to spread my kindness and my positivity and to have someone and share that experience with them as a roommate. <laughs> You know, I can see you being a roommate with, if not with Miss Mauritius, maybe with somebody who lives three, 6,000 miles away from Seychelles, maybe, mm. maybe Miss Philippines. Wow, that would be amazing. Chalestic Let's Martins. throw it to the universe. Let's manifest. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pray for that, you know, that it may come true, but you never know. You never know. You never know. Oh, honestly, Miss Universe is full of surprises, so you never know. Now, how many um, suitcases are you bringing with you? <laughs> <laughs> so I have four suitcases. Four? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, for a country coming back after 27 years, it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, don't be fooled. Even if there's four suitcases. There four big ones. Surprises. It's packed with surprises. <laughs> that's that's wonderful. I th I think four four or five would, would 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 be perfect. But of course, some other girls are bringing over a dozen suitcases. Yeah, so that's figure. crazy. You know, they have yeah. the the sash factor. They've trained for this. I'm yes. coming back after 27 years, but I think it's great that after 27 years, I have four luggages. But definitely next year for the next candidate that converts it to Miss Universe Seychelles, they're probably going to have more. But, you know, trial and error. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And also travel light, <laughs> if you can. Or maybe yeah. or maybe send some of your stuff or even your national costume uh, in advance ahead of you so you don't have to, like, tag it along with you, you know, when you travel, you know. And that's what we've been doing. We've been traveling light. So when we arrive to New Orleans, everything is there. So I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, okay, enough talk. Let's play some games, Gabriella. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's have some fun. So the first game is called This or That. I'm going to mention two things and you tell me which you prefer. Okay. Simple. Okay. Ice cream or yogurt? Hmm. Yogurt. 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 iPhone or Samsung? Samsung. I'm an Android person, guys. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I have Apple. <laughs> you love me. It's opposite day. That means you love me. I feel okay, love. That's true. <laughs> lights off or lights on? Lights off. I mean, if you want a restful sleep, you need everything off. <laughs> I agree. Pilates or yoga? Mm, that's difficult. Ooh. You both like it? Pilates. 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 Pilates is not easy. A lot of people think it's easy, but it's so much no, it's abdominal not. work. It's mindset. So yes. I think if I pick Pilates, I'm also picking yoga indirectly. So Pilates. That's a good one. Actually, both ex uh, exercises actually help for, uh, uh, strengthening your core. Yeah. Your, your abs so either one is, is good um tiktok or youtube okay you know because it's trending now tiktok tiktok, TikTok. are you on tiktok you're on tiktok right yes, I am. Yes, I why am. is everybody on tiktok except me i'm not on tiktok we've got to keep up <laughs> Yeah, but it's supposed to be a Chinese spyware, and that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm worried about. No, no, it's technology, it's and it says it's to create impact, guys. <laughs> okay, I think I'm, I'm going to create a, an entirely different persona with fake information, and I'm going to sign up for TikTok. Right, <laughs> let's do it. Money or love, baby? Hmm. Okay, I'm justifying my answer. Okay. Money. I'm not saying money is important, but it affects everything that I love. And because of that, money. I need money to pay my bills. I need money to support my support systems. That is my parents, 
I need money to literally live. Right. I totally I don't agree. idealize money. I definitely don't. It's paper that has value, mm -hmm. but it affects everything that I love. And because of that, I need to work harder and smarter. I totally agree. Especially when you're young, love can wait, right? You know, 100%. Like and if in you're, my case, I threw it, it in the universe. I mean, you know, if you're lucky, you can have both at the same time. But if you don't have one or the other and you were forced to choose, obviously, I would go with money, you know, anytime. Investment. Love can wait, guys. Protect your heart. Exactly. Big party or small gathering? Small gathering. I am a big person of quality over quantity. Definitely. Mm -hmm. like, Good answer. I, Good when answer. I'm in a small gathering with the right people, it feels like I'm in the large party. So quality over quantity. Ooh, okay. I totally agree with you. Definitely. <laughs> Game number two. Tell me your favorites. What is your favorite okay. color? That's difficult. I that's growing up I never had a favorite color, but a color that I would always resonate to was red. red. Let me tell you yeah. why. My mom always told me I am a firecracker. <laughs> and when I wear red, I feel powerful. Like I feel like a phoenix. Mm -hmm. I feel rising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel undefeated. I feel at my best when I wear red. And you know how they say a girl wearing red classic lipstick is lethal? Like they say the devil wears Prada and under right, the Prada it's right, 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 right. right? Yes. Powerful. So definitely red was my favorite color growing up. Well, red is also the color of passion and mm. desire. And, and I've lust. got a lot of hurt in me. I've got, I've got a lot of passion because I'm very hardworking. And I've got a lot lots of love within me. I spread that everywhere I go about. Good for you. Never give up on spreading love. What is your favorite flower? Hmm. So I love a classic white rose. There's something about the purity it has, the meaning it has. And it's something I resonate with because you could have a white rose in between any color and it just stands out because it's so simple. There's right. beauty in simplicity and I resonate with that, honestly. Wonderful. Yeah, I like white roses too. I, I really do. I like roses I think in general. It's classic too. and it will never go out of style. Exactly, exactly. What is your favorite fashion accessory? Okay, definitely a statement earring. As you can see, I'm wearing yes, a statement earring. Yes, I noticed. You never go wrong with a statement earring. And if you look at my Instagram, all my photos have this statement earring. And it, it says something about okay. me. I'll check them out. They look very, uh, uh, very Seychellian. <laughs> too. Yeah, they're very they're island. They're very tropical and happy, as you can yes. see. Yes, and I love pink. I, I, I love, love, love the color pink. Yeah, they, they, they definitely suit you, suit you very well. That's Thank wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. What is your favorite drink? Ooh, Mountain Dew. I love Mountain really? Dew. Yeah, I love Mountain Dew. But that's like know, 60, because... 60, gra 60 grams of sugar in there. That's insane. Stop. Listen, you only live once you only live once and i don't have it all the time but there's something about mountain dew it's like not everybody's favorite and because it's not everybody's favorite it attracted me and it's my favorite <laughs> okay all right since if you you know only drink like a bottle a month maybe i think that should that should be fine yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna get killed from it you know, from drinking too much of don't it. don't worry i only have it like once a blue moon once a blue moon i'm big on water like water is life hydration definitely definitely what is your favorite spice Ooh. Ooh. coming from the islands spice is life okay wow something that enhances for me Loving Italian food, oregano. 
always Ooh, added yes. had just that another dimension. It was another level. Yeah. So definitely oregano. But then again, I love thyme. I love rosemary. Yeah, I love too. it all, but I definitely love a good oregano for sure. Yeah, you cannot have a good uh, spaghetti sauce without oregano. Hundred percent. I mean, if you forget the oregano, forget call it. it all. Yes, and I'm not even talking about the dried oregano. I'm talking about the the fresh, yeah, fresh oregano. Everything is better when it's fresh. Oh, can you imagine the parsley also? Oh, yes, everything, yes. even the fresh rosemary. I like prefer. I prefer everything fresh. I love it. Mm -hmm. Good Organic. So, what is your favorite fruit? Ooh, mango. I love <gasps> a good mango. Oh my! I love God. a good mango. Do you to have me, a lot of mangoes in the Seychelles? Abundance, abundance. It's like Christmas every day for me in the islands. I love a good mango. Oh, mango juice, a mango salad. Oh, what about what about mango what about the dried dried mango? The dried mango. Oh, these are amazing. Yeah. I love them. I love them. Every time I travel, I would always buy dried mango. Honestly, oh. Well, hopefully, the uh, mangoes are waiting for you in New Orleans. Mm, can't wait. If you request, if you request the Mission Universe organization for mangoes, I'm sure they're they're gonna give it to you. <laughs> uh, cross. I'm gonna try. We have uh, we have an island girl, Mission Universe Seychelles. She wants her mangoes delivered to her room, please, <laughs> right now. Room service. <laughs> yeah, please. on a silver platter here you go miss seychelles yeah i think mangoes really reflect the personality of the islanders fun quirky bursting with flavors bursting with colors right yeah all right miss universe if you're watching this give her some mangoes she deserves <laughs> them. last game okay would you rather would you rather have more time or have more money. I think I know what you're going to say. <laughs> um, I'd rather have more money. <laughs> when I have more money, I can create more time. You know how we say exactly. time is money? And because of that, more money. Because then I can accomplish visiting the world. Accomplish making my parents' dreams happen. Yes, time is everything, but you need money to fuel the expansion of time. In all of exactly. I totally. Oh, my God. You are so amazing. We both <laughs> we both believe in the same things. <laughs> me making money does not make me selfish, but the way the world has developed, you need it. You need it to accomplish all your dreams and everything. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a real necessity at uh, this uh, day. Yeah. Yeah. Dana, it's definitely now, would you rather switch bodies with your mom or with your dad? Wow, that's hard. You know, <laughs> growing up, when parent, when people asked me, who do you look more like, your mom or your dad? I would be so sassy and be like, I'm my own self. I'm my own identity. <laughs> you know, I, I know my mom's struggles. She's my best friend. Um, I know her struggles. But with my dad, he's more quiet. And I always wonder what is going through his mind and his head. So I'd love to swap bodies with him to know exactly what does he think about? What does he go through? Because to me, men suffer a lot in silence. Society tells men, men up, don't speak about your emotions. And I would never want any male presence in my life to calm down or to suppress their feelings so i definitely swap bodies with my father that's so sweet that's so you're such a sweet daughter <laughs> <laughs> your parents your parents are just lucky to have you and their lives just a one ball of sunshine I, I was gonna say that like a ray of sunshine every time every time every time little gabrielle walks <laughs> in the room oh light shines up everywhere <laughs> that's amazing would you rather <laughs> Always be 10 minutes late or always be 20 minutes early? As a business student, time is everything. And to me, one of my pet peeves is being late. I don't know. There's something about just being late. No, I'd rather be 20 minutes early and show you that I'm dedicated. I'm ready. 
And you know, the early bird gets the worm. So 20 minutes early, I get 20 minutes to strategize and 20 minutes difference to create an impact. So 20 minutes earlier. Exactly. And you know, nobody wants a beauty queen who, who always arrives late. 100%. Okay. Uh -huh. So remember, you're going to Miss Universe to interview for one of the most important jobs in the world. So everything, yeah. all first impression really, really counts. Exactly. Call time is very important. And I'm, I'm so thankful I learned that in business. Mm -hmm. And I learned that with my parents. Time is of the essence. essence. Time is everything. If I don't want my time wasted, I shouldn't be wasting anybody's time. Right. I totally, totally agree. I hate people who come in late. Ugh, I hate it. Hopefully you don't suffer something from Filipino time because Filipinos are very, <laughs> like what you guys proved tonight. It's Boogie's fault that you guys are late. No, it's, it's, it's the I'm traffic. Just, it's crazy. <laughs> Is it like Filipino time? I said six, six o'clock, not 7.30, <laughs> six o'clock. Oh, Boogie's Filipino time. It must be Filipino time. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love Boogie. I, I'm sure he's listening. So, <laughs> next question. <laughs> he heard me. Would you rather have the ability to read people's minds or to be invisible? Definitely read people's minds. As a firm advocate for mental health, we struggle a lot in silence. And I believe we all walk each other home at the end of the day. And that's why it's important to be kind. So I am such an empathetic person. I love to listen and I'm always trying to find a solution and a way to help somebody. So if I can understand you, then I can go that extra mile to help you. I believe in crossing oceans for people you love, those you meet, those you may not know yet. You always have to cross the ocean for them. So Definitely, I want to read people's minds, understand them. We already have the misconception that humans are complicated. I definitely want to mitigate that, and I want to prevent any less damage. So definitely read people's minds. Good for you. Not me. I'd rather be invisible so I can always uh, look at people's <laughs> iPhones or, or Samsung and I'll check their text messages and see what other people are saying about me. <laughs> Just just You're kidding. Not Just, kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Last question, babe. Would you rather find mm. true love today or mm. win the lottery next year? <laughs> Guys, I'm 24. I'm ambitious. I threw love to the universe. If it comes to me, it comes to me. I want to win the lottery. I want to spoil my parents. I want to go on a vacation. <laughs> There's so much I want to do. I've thrown love. What if I win the lottery and find love? Right. So you see, let's win the lottery. Let's get our dreams. Let's secure the bag. And once I've done that, I'm pretty sure I'll find love. I'm, I'm still young. <laughs> Exactly. You're young and, you know, take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way because, you know, it'll never be, it'll never happen again, you know? Yeah. So reading some of the comments, actually, we have a couple of questions from our readers. Dorothy's, hey. Dorothy, hi, Dorothy. Um, Dorothy wants to know, how can you impact the Seychelles as far as environmental problems are concerned? Because I think Miss Universe is also going the route of raising uh, ecological and uh, I mean, what is what is your country's biggest uh, environmental problem? So for Seychelles, the climate change is definitely the first prominent and pertinent issue on our agenda. Mm -hmm. And I'm lucky enough to work in a space where we put environmental issues first. So mm -hmm. definitely it using my social media uh, to advocate on the issue you're never too educated on the matter but also on my end I'm working with policymakers, with stakeholders to create eco-friendly policies inclusive policies and you know if I win Miss Universe I deserve a seat at that table with all the world leaders I'm advocating for a billion voices and climate change manifested itself in different ways it affects everyone 
But for us islanders who are doing so much in terms of environment, it's affecting us the most. Mm -hmm. So definitely it's using my social media. It's doing the small deeds like reduce, reusing and recycling. It's going plastic free. It's working in liaison with stakeholders and creating that change. And definitely if I win Miss Universe, it's using the platform to amplify my voice as well as to create opportunities to make that difference in the climate change situation. That's so thank you, Dorothy, for such an amazing question. Yeah. Um, that's amazing because, you know, I think one good thing I like about Miss Universe is because they allow the the girls or the title holder to do, you know, to amplify her voice. Uh exactly related to any platform or advocacy that's close to her heart. So I can see I can see you wearing the new crown. And we're actually, manifesting it, right? We're manifesting yes. it. You need to visualize that you're already the winner. That's the that's the only way. <laughs> and no matter what happens, you are already a winner. You know I mean I've made it to Miss Universe. So exactly. much people exactly so much women want to be in this place. And that's such an amazing achievement. I need to always wear my invisible crown. That's because right. That is amazing. That's an achievement. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Question from MathWiz. In terms of training and preparation, which aspect do you consider as the most challenging one? Okay, thank you, Mathwiz, for your question. As somebody who just got thrown in the world of pageantry, I am never considered myself as someone to know everything. So to me, I'm I'm like a new a new leaf. I'm turning my my leaf sides, and I find every bit coming with a challenge. And I'm never too good at something, and that's why I'm such an adaptive person, and I want to learn. Everything matters. The interview, the way you walk, the way you present yourself. I'm not perfect. So I'm struggling with a lot of things, but that's the amazing part of pageantry. It's knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, working on it. I'm working on it to be a better person, to be the future Miss Universe, perhaps. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that's a good point. Not only that, but even... When you're competing at Miss Universe, every day, every experience is actually a learning process. It's a journey. Um, so it's that's a learning curve. It's a, exactly. So whatever happens on January 14, 2023, you know, win or lose, take everything, um, you know, for good. Exactly. You know, it's, it's you've heard of, of, of the word redirected. Yes, I hear, I hear yeah. that word. Katrina Grace had something about it on your on your path of your dreams. You are never denied, but you are redirected, and that's the importance of taking every situation as a lesson rather than a loss. And that's what I'm doing. There's a lesson. There's a principle. There's a value that I learn in everything. And to mm -hmm. me, I'm just humbled that I'm having that chance to know where I'm strong, where I'm weak, where I need improvements. So it's a learning curve. It's a learning process. Exactly. Well, um, you know, it's it's funny because when I was doing my um, my top 20 pre-arrival lists, mm. I didn't have you on my list. But you know what? I'm going to change my list and include you on my list. You're just you're just a big revelation to me. You're just like oh, this amazing young woman good. who's just wow. She's like blowing me away every time she opens her mouth, and it's just amazing. I love you. I adore you now. <laughs> Don't cry. I'm flustered, you know. Um, I, I'm flustered because you know I'm I'm not on the on the hot picks. I'm not on the pageant hot picks, and you know it doesn't define me um, because I know myself, but. Um, you know, it, it feels amazing when somebody says, oh, wow, you had that potential. They see it. Uh -huh. And me, this small little gesture, that small word that you said, it has made my day. It's made my month, perhaps. And it's boosted my confidence. And I think that's such a kind gesture that you did. And thank you. <laughs> like, I'm flustered and I'm emotional. Yeah. Well, you know what? Don't 
don't even depend on on hot picks because they don't mean anything because yeah. everybody everybody has an opinion on who their favorite is you know exactly and i truly know myself and when i do any interview i want to be authentic i want to be genuine and i want to show people that i'm not perfect but i am vulnerable and there's strength in being vulnerable and that's something i want to teach in this universe that it's okay to to be perfectly perfect. I'm flawed, but I'm learning. <laughs> well, you know what? Whoever is going to be your roommate will be extremely very lucky to have you as a roommate and eventually as a close friend and a sister and a permanent sister forever because you yeah. you radiate so much um this you have this amazing positive aura around you, you know. And even though even though I'm not speaking to you, you know, a lot in lot person one on one in person digitally your radiance just you feel comes it you, you feel it like i'm ready yeah into all my love and all my kindness and you know what what's even makes it interesting is because that that filipino lantern hanging on the window it adds to your radiance <laughs> when you look at perfect Perfect, perfect. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a symbol. Oh my God! You know, I can see the that lantern behind her head. You know, as as the crown itself. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. That means much more people, than you may know. See, thank people you. are people are saying she deserves to be in the top twenty. She's someone to really watch out for. Uh, keep the faith queen hashtag hashtag keep fighting queen. So that's great. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> Listen, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for granting this time. I know you you are very, very busy and you have a lot more uh, preparation and training to do. And we're look, really looking forward to see you rock that stage in New Orleans on January 14th. And we wish you the best of luck. And, you know, no matter what happens, you are already a winner in, in our hearts. That's for sure. Invisible crowd always. Thank you so much for the opportunity to have this interview. I mean, I come from a small island. So for you to get that chance to really know me on a one-to-one -one basis, it's just amazing. I could be busy, yes, but I will always have time to make that difference. And maybe as an upcoming Miss Universe, I will have always have time for critical beauty. That's for sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And and uh, people out there who are watching uh, my chat with Miss Seychelles, please follow her on her social media. I'm going to um, uh, put down your uh, Instagram account in the chat box oh. below so people can follow you on your journey to Miss Universe 2022, which is going to take place in New Orleans on January 14. So listen, we wish you the best of luck giving you all these virtual kisses and virtual hugs, sending you all positive thoughts and positive energy, you know. <laughs> now, is your other sister ready for the interview? She's ready. She's is she ready? ready? All right. Let me yeah. change. Let me change the background. Do you like? Do you like the banner, by the way? I love it. You do. Keep it. Keep it. What? <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, love. We'll see you. Soon. Thank you so much once again. You have an amazing evening and take care. Thank you, everyone who's watched. Lots of love. Bye, Gabriella. No, keep it on and just um, have. Um, have Alexandrine come come over. Okay, all right. Let me change that go. name. Sorry, guys. You're gonna see me for a little while. Let me let me just That's change fine. my name. Do, 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 do. It's so cold. It's so cold. All right, people. What do you think of Miss Seychelles? Isn't she amazing? All right, I'm definitely gonna put her in top twenty. Ha 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 ha. She's actually somebody to watch out for, definitely, for sure. All right. So if you have any questions for Miss Mauritius, be ready to ask her. We're just waiting for her. Hold on. All right, let me just, let me just pause this for a minute. Ah. 
Aha, there she is. She's changing. Mauritius, Mauritius, where are you? Aha, there she is. Hi. Hi, Miss Mauritius. Hello. <laughs> How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm great. And you? You look, you look amazing. Oh, I'm very cold. It's like freezing. It's, it's <laughs> you're not too far away. You're in New York City. I'm in Boston. So we're not too far away from each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yes. not that far, but, you know, even inside the house, I feel a bit cold because, you know, coming from an island, it's uh, a temperature shock for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, when did, when did you arrive in the United States? Oh, I arrived uh, last Sunday, actually. It's been a week already. And, so you, you uh, spent Christmas, you spent Christmas in New York? Yes, I spent Christmas in New York with Boogie, actually, Boogie. and uh, his family and friends. It was amazing. It was amazing. First time experiencing uh, Christmas far away from my family and my island. And uh, first time Christmas in New York. I mean, nobody, not everyone who has this chance to experience Christmas in New York. Now, tell me, how in the world did you meet Boogie? How did you guys two meet? Well, actually, um, it's from my uh, national committee, okay. Miss Maurice organization, who contacted Boogie for his uh, fairy hands of being a stylist and also a makeup artist, if you didn't know about that. Ooh, and okay. uh, so Boogie will have the, uh, we, we will have the opportunity to wear Boogie's creation for the preliminary and the final gowns. Ooh! Now, uh, can you give us some hints about the preliminary gown? I mean, not in detail. Just give <laughs> <me> some hints. <laughs> what is the theme? Yeah. Do you have a specific theme? Coming from a uh, vibrant island, I can tell you the colors are going to be vibrant. Vibrant. And very so I'm looking. Healing. So I'm and, looking. I'm looking at the uh, at the flag of Mauritius. They're like four colors in the Mauritius yes, flag, right? Yes. And and they're very, very vibrant, very, very colorful. Yes, actually, it means a lot of uh, from our national um, population also, uh, which mean red for the Hindus, blue for the Christian, yellow for the Chinese culture, and green for the Muslim, which also oh, reflects nice. uh, the national uh, beauty of, uh, of Mauritius. That's from the sun to the beaches, the lagoons, from the sand and the green plantation of Mauritius. That's very interesting. Well, th thank you for educating us about the symbolism of your beautiful, colorful flag. I didn't know that at all. Well, that's, that's good to know. Now, of course, a lot of people uh, don't know where your country is located. I know where it is, but to those people out there who want to know about your country, tell us a, a little bit about Mauritius. Well, Mauritius is a very small island, a crystal rock, I must say, in the Indian Ocean. So basically, it's near Africa. So you can see the African continent here. Uh -huh. India is on the top, and Mauritius is located approximately in the Indian Ocean here. So uh, next to Mauritius, we have Iranian Island, which is dependent to France. Uh -huh. And uh, two hours from Mauritius, you can find the seashells. Oh, it's not that too far. So you guys are neighbors, pretty yes. much both islands. Yes, we are neighbors. We are island sisters. Have you been to the Seychelles? Have you guys visited? Not Chinese? yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet, but I will. Definitely, it's on my bucket list. Okay, I think we should all go travel together. You, Boogie, uh, Miss Seychelles, and then we're, we're going to take turns visiting each other's country. How's that? Of course, of course. So you're going to make an island tour. <laughs> we're going to, yeah, we're going to be island hopping all, all together, all of us. So that'd be, that'd be, that'd be pleasure. great. <laughs> that'd be great. Now, um, I'm reading your uh, bio uh, from the Mission Everest website. And you have uh, a college degree in fine arts. Mm -hmm. And also you, you teach the arts and French in a private primary school. 
how did you get interested in in the arts? Well, this is my passion since my young age, since I'm very little, because you know, my uh, mother is actually a pre-primary teacher. So she is very creative, like always uh, preparing uh, works for the kids. So I remember sitting at the table with her and cutting all the papers, helping her, uh, painting and all the art stuff. So I was like uh, guided since my young age for the art field. And then uh, by, when growing up, I chose art at, at school, secondary school, and I felt like um, I was devoted to art, the art, and I wanted to share my skills, I wanted to share my passion with others. So I decided to be a teacher because um, for me, this is the most beautiful way to share your passion is to teach it to kids and uh, to all the people who might be interested in art and also to express themselves. So this is how I ended to be a teacher. Uh, how is it like teaching small children? For, for example, do you what do you how do you deal with uh, children who misbehave, who are not disciplined in the classroom? Well, uh, this is <laughs> this is the challenge that all the teachers face, actually. <laughs> but. Um, you know, when the kid is very, um, I would say, uh, stressed or not uh, careful in class, the best way is to come close to him, to take him in, his, in your arms and to make him feel comfortable with you and uh, to reassure him, to tell, explain him that you are here to help him and not against him. Uh -huh. So he feels more comfortable with you and you can guide him more to express himself on the paper rather than expressing in a bad behavior. So it is a way of uh, uh, controlling the emotion also. Well, that's all nice and lovely, but what, what, would happen, <laughs> what would happen if a kid all of a sudden goes berserk and hits you with his paintbrush on your head? How would you deal with it? Oh my God. Corporal punishment? Him, Do you believe in corporal punishment? I would tell him to take the brush and to make a beautiful makeup. I would teach him how to do a beautiful makeup. So I will teach him what he can do with this brush instead of hitting others, how he can be responsible for, the, for his action, for his positive action, rather than punishing him and uh, giving a bad punishment, I mean. That's a, an, an amazing idea. And you know what? Let's just hope that this boy grows up to be one of the best makeup artists in the world <laughs> because, of, because of you, because of your influence. Positive reinforcement. Bravo, Miss Maurice. Bravo. Merci, merci beaucoup. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, um, you, we remember you because you had competed before in a different pageant in Poland, and you actually mm -hmm. made the semifinalist lists. And the first time I saw you, I was like, wow, this girl should be competing in Miss Universe. That was, my, that was my, and also the reaction of, of, of my friends, like, wow, she is amazing. And like, where did she come from? What is her name? Blah, 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 et cetera. So we're so happy that, that you're making it on the Miss Universe stage. Thank and, you. You know, Mauritius has actually been sending a lot of beautiful um, contestants in the past, but they haven't had much luck. But I think with you, you will make uh, a difference this year. You are, you are making the list I of most everybody's so. favorite list. So that's good. I hope so. You know, it will be like um, uh, um, gâteau, like we said in French, for all the efforts and the hard work of the previous girl. So it's time for Mauritius to shine a little bit more and uh, to show that we're not working for nothing, that we didn't come that far only to come that far, <laughs> like exactly. we know because we have so much to offer, so much to share with the world. And uh, I hope, I hope really cross fingers that uh, we're going to stand out this year. Reading some of the comments, people are loving you. They're saying one, Phil, my friend, Phil, uh, she, Alex, Alexandrine Belletoile is one of the most beautiful names in Michigan, her story. So, you know, yeah, I love your name. J'adore ton nom. Je parle français. I speak French. So, Alexandrine, ah. oh my God, 
and, and then it said thumb. Oh my God. Ooh. Uh, oh, somebody's, <laughs> wow. somebody's saying, yeah, she is, she reminds me of Valeria Ayos, who was Miss Columbia Universe mm -hmm. 2021. You have the same dusky, exotic complexion, the same face, uh, you know, beautiful, big mouth, you know, big, gorgeous eyes. <laughs> I mean, you, you both could be sisters, definitely. So oh, that's I, I think that it's because of my mixed blood, actually. Wow. Uh, okay. Yes, on my mom's side, uh, I do have induced blood. So coming from India, my ancestors from India, and on okay. my dad's side, my ancestors coming from Europe. So uh, I must say that I'm it's blessed. A great, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great combination. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but there's quite uh, many Indians who, uh, there's an um, Indian diaspora mm -hmm. in Mauritius, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, and I, actually I think the, the largest population are Hindus. So uh, because uh, of the previous uh, history of the Indian laborers coming to Mauritius, mm -hmm. so are very... Um, multicultural country, right. rich in culture, ancestors mm -hmm. from India, uh, Asia, uh, Europe, Africa, I must say all around the world. So you can find very, very beautiful people in Mauritius. That's good. And, <laughs> and I hope I represent them well. <laughs> right. And just remember, people, it's basically the Indians who built Mauritius. Yes, because of their presence, mm -hmm. their hard work. And discipline, they were able to build this beautiful country and made it one of the most beautiful uh, countries in the world. So that's great. That's wonderful. Now, um, besides English and French, do you speak other languages? I speak Mauritian Creole, but my first language is French, actually. <laughs> okay. Can you say something in Mauritian Creole? Like, uh, how do you say, okay, uh, uh, um, Nous allons, nous, allons, nous allons voir un film ensemble. How do you say, we're going to see a movie together. How do you say that in Mauritian Creole? Hello. So first of all, your French accent is super cute. <laughs> Thank you. I live, I live I in Paris, it. that's why. Oh, so in Mauritian Creole, it would be nous pourrons get un film ensemble. Okay, I can understand. So, nous means us, nous. Right, nous. I'll get, we will watch uh, a film, a movie, yeah. ensemble, like French, together, together. ensemble. Okay. All right. That's not, okay. I can, that's good. Uh, Phil, my friend Phil wants to know, please ask her about her name. Well, Alexandrine obviously is a very French name uh, for, for women. Beretoile means beautiful star. That's the meaning it of is. her last name. Yes. Beretoile. Yes. So yeah, your name definitely ref reflects your persona, your beauty, you know, oh, which, is, which, which is which is which is which is perfect. Uh, oh yeah, people are loving you already. She's definitely top 16. Yes. Or even better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bless your words. Bless your words. <laughs> yes, there you go. Now, is this going to be your first time? Uh, visiting New Orleans or Louisiana? It is actually, it is my first time visiting the US. I've never been and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the food. I'm enjoying the people who are actually very nice, very welcoming. And um, yes, it's, it's so exciting. It's, it's so huge mm -hmm. uh, compared to our small island. And I feel I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. Uh, to have the chance to visit such a big country because we've always seen New York, the US in, in the films, in the movies, on Netflix only. But feeling like coming as an island girl, coming from a small island in the Indian Ocean, having the chance to experience this big city life, I must say, I'm so grateful for that, really. That's wonderful. And I'm sure you're, going, you're, very, you're very, very excited for Miss Universe, right? Are you nervous? I am. I am, I am, because, wow, it's happening. I yes, mean, exactly. I've been watching Miss Universe uh, since my youngest age, mm -hmm. and I can't believe that um, it's my turn now, that yeah. people will be watching at me, and my country will be, um, I hope, very proud to see their flag on stage. And, 
and to make a dream come true, you know, and giving opportunities to other people to speak up their voice for this platform, actually. And, uh, oh my God, I can't wait also to uh, wear the beautiful gowns of Boogie and the beautiful uh, accessories I've got, the sponsors actually in Mauritius also, um, to share about the Mauritian talent also on, on the Miss Universe platform, right? Right, exactly, exactly. That's wonderful. Now, um, um, if you have the chance to choose your roommate at Miss Universe, who would it be besides Miss Seychelles? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure she's no, listening. Well, I don't right? want anyone upon me, Sisha. Gabriella. 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 No, I mean, um, I'm not a difficult person. As far as we have, we share the same values. I mean, uh, we respect each other, and uh, working hand together, we can uplift each other. Um, I'm, I'm fine. With I'm fine with that. I'm not a difficult person. I'm happy to share my values, to help from a different culture. I mean, we are, Miss Universe is an adventure of sharing and learning also. So yes, I'm open to any, <laughs> any roommate. Any, um, any roommate. I'm fine. That's great. Now, have you reached out to some, most of the contestants? Are you guys, do you guys have a WhatsApp group where you guys chat or text with each other we do we do we do, do. we do have okay. a whatsapp group we have lots of messages sharing <laughs> with the miss universe contestants so we kind of uh building this bond already and i can't wait to to leave this adventure with all of the sisters can i join that group can i <laughs> <laughs> that secret group um no, i can i, I can i can pretend <laughs> I can pretend to be Miss Universe Bonaire. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Well, you need, I, I think I need to make you sign a contract first. There you go. Okay. <laughs> like, like everything has to be in com confidential, correct? <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> now, of course, Miss Universe organization has undergone uh, major changes as far as requirements are concerned. Uh, effective 2023, they will be accepting a married woman, single woman, who are uh, with children, or divorced women. What do you think of these changes? It's all about positivity, first of all. And uh, being a woman, actually, is being an example to the whole nation. So it's all about positive change. And, and the word is is evolving. The word is uh, upgrading, I must say. Mm -hmm. And we need someone to look up to. We need someone that uh, can make the difference. It can in be an inspiration. And a woman is not limited to some uh, critiques or some limitations, you know? And mm -hmm. for me, it is it is the best thing that it, can, it may happen to the world of, of pageantry because it's changing and we yes. need to give the opportunity to other people to mm -hmm. speak up their voice and be inspiration to, to others, to a whole generation. Right. Yeah. So we all have our place in society. Right. Well, you know, other pageants uh, are following uh, the same su uh, suit. Now, other pageants also are raising the age limit to 30 to 32 um, hopefully Miss Universe will also do the same, you know, you're only, tw you're 25, correct? I'm 25. 25, yes. You're 25. Okay. So you're still young. So hopefully <laughs> you can compete in other pageants where the age limit is like 40. <laughs> so. Yes. Why not? Why, why not? not? Exactly. Because like what you said, times are changing and not only that, but I see more and more older women in their mid twenties to even late twenties, who are prettier, who are more physically fit than younger mm -hmm. women. So mm -hmm. there you go. They also deserve the chance to shine on stage. Oh, you know? Of course, of course. And uh, a woman like uh, needs to to uh, pre uh, be well preserved to take care about herself and uh, to love herself. First of all, it's about self-love mm -hmm. and there's no age limit to that. Exactly, exactly. 
We have a comment from Summer, my friend Summer, who runs Crown Sisters. Hi, Summer. She's watching. She's Hi. saying, uh, <laughs> Miss Mauritius looks like Miss Universe Puerto Rico. You know what? Yeah. Oh, I I'm think honored. so too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, the same, the same exotic, dusky look, uh, beautiful, dark complexion. Yeah, you could be twins, I think. Yeah, that's amazing. Maybe maybe we are twins. Maybe it's a secret, you know? Maybe it's a secret. Maybe she could I'm be- not, uh, I'm not going to, to reveal <laughs> that secret. <laughs> Way to go. Okay. <laughs> now, what is, what do you think is your most challenging um, uh aspect as far as your preparation and training goes how is your how's your catwalk actually uh we are not having the catwalk uh, training yet not yet okay but, what are you waiting um, for do it tonight before you go to bed uh, we are going to do it tonight actually <laughs> <laughs> yes so oops <laughs> What is that? Is it, is it a microwave? The alarm. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> oh, is there a fire alarm? Is there a fire in the apartment? <laughs> is the food the food is ready? Oh, the food. <laughs> oh, the food is burned. So I don't boogie, know. Boogie is burning. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What is it cooking anyway? <laughs> I'm Hello. sorry for that. <laughs> so, um, so my, your my cat walk. Is, yes, but. The catwalk is not my challenge, actually, because um, I love being on stage. I love uh, walking. I love, uh, you know, being pretty, being being just feminine on the stage. I love doing that. My biggest challenge is actually uh, my English because it's not my first language. So um, I, I take a little bit time to do the translation from French to English to express myself better. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be a bit uh, very challenging, <laughs> but I'm going, I'm going to, to make it. And uh, yes, I'm ready for that. So are you going to ask for an interpreter during the interview and uh, final question and answer? You will? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, well, you know, I'm going to have the, tra uh, the translator for uh, French um, because I feel that I am more confident in French. And as far as you are confident, just as the uh, theme of Miss Universe, being beautifully confident, uh, you need to be yourself at first. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, so I can express myself better in French. That's wonderful. You know what, Miss Universe, if you're looking for a French interpreter, please hire me. <laughs> okay, because you know what? Yes, there are so many... There are so many bad interpreters. Il y a tellement beaucoup de mauvais traducteurs qui existent ailleurs. Alors, c'est moi. Choisissez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Je vous en prie. Choose me. I will definitely so I win. Embellish, so I can <laughs> embellish your answer. Make it the best answer ever. So you win. How's that? Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I will bring you with me in my pocket. Yes. So when I need to... <laughs> I, I think I can... Well, I'm short, so I can fit in your... In your purse <laughs> so, <you can> follow me. <laughs> so that's wonderful that's great okay let's do that now hopefully you won't be able to need an interpreter and you will be able to express yourself in english perfectly yes wonderful. so definitely that's great so apart from that okay so you're fine with catwalk uh of course with your experience from from the other pageant in poland mm -hmm. you, you prove you prove yourself that you're an amazing uh catwalk uh person uh your gowns Oh, your national costume. Give us give us some hints about your your national costume. Oh, well, do you, are you sure you want some hints or you want to have the surprise? All right, fine, surprise. What is it like yes. the theme? Let's, give us let's wait. Us. Let's let's wait. Let's wait. Okay. All right. Yes. So people, okay, people, just wait. Okay, people who are watching, yeah. <laughs> If let's I tell you everything wait. now, then you will don't have, you won't you won't be surprised on the stage. Exactly. So let's wait. Let's wait. Exactly. I'm sure want, you will like it. I'm sure. We, we want a lot of surprises. That's for sure. That's for sure. That's okay. that's what Miss Universe is made of, right? Yeah. Let's watch. It. Let's <laughs> watch it all together. We're gonna have a viewing party. I won't be able to go to, to New Orleans, but we're gonna have a viewing party in my house. So that's good. All right. Now, enough all these stupid questions, Alexandrine. 
Let's play some games. Ready? With pleasure. I right. like games. Let's play some <laughs> games. Game number one. This or that. Ceci ou cela. Alors, you're going to give me two names. <laughs> this or that. Ceci ou cela. I love it. <laughs> French. All right. Red wine or white wine? Um, I would say red wine. I love you. I love red wine. <laughs> J'adore le vin rouge. Mm. Oh, be careful. Why? We need to drink alcohol with moderation. Well, <laughs> well, but it, it, New Year's, it's New Year's Eve. It's coming up. So you can drink as much as you want. As long as you don't drive. You cannot drink. Mm -hmm. drive. Not as much as you want. But during a dinner with a good meat, good food, a little wine of glass, a glass of wine would be perfect. But not that much. Okay. Drink everything in moderation, including moderation itself. Okay. Yes. Good advice. Ice cream or frozen yogurt? Ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream, definitely. Yes. Yes. Any, is, speci uh, any specific flavor? A chocolate ice cream. Chocolate. Uh. Without hesitation, I would choose chocolate <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> Or even um, fruit ice cream, you know? Yes. It's very good. In yes. Mauritius, you do have very good ice cream because of the hot weather. And mm. uh, eating an ice cream on the beaches is one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> Again, eat everything in moderation, correct? One piece swimsuit or bikini? Uh, this is quite tough because it depends on the style. I mean, it depends, right, depends yeah. on, on how it, it is and the um, and your body, how it looks on you. Sometimes it will be one piece. Sometimes it will be, be two pieces. It depends. Okay. So it depends on your style, everybody. Good. Spaghetti or pizza? <laughs> uh, this is tough. <laughs> You like both? <laughs> I like both. You can but uh, I would choose spaghetti. Spaghetti? Because I love Italian food and uh, spaghetti is um, more Italian for me. Um, I eat it more than pizza, so I would choose spaghetti. Can, can you make your own spaghetti sauce? Of course. And? Of course, with, uh, with beef. And uh, tomato sauce, or even bolognese, and cheese onto that. Mm, and of course, perfect. herbs like oregano, right? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sure, sure uh, Gabriela would like oregano. <laughs> <laughs> Foot massage or hand massage? Oh, definitely food massage. Foot massage, yeah, me too. Yes, definitely. That's so relaxing and. When we, like I, I wear heels a lot, mm -hmm. so foot massage will be like so relaxing for me, and I hope that I can have one before the pageant. <laughs> I think you will. Yeah, I think you will. Yeah, I think you know Miss Universe should be spoiling the contestants this year. I mean, they have a, they have a new owner, and she's very rich, so I'm sure she can she can <laughs> afford to have all these masseuses come and you know give a massage to the girls you know so that's good are you are you a dog lover or a cat lover um both i love animals okay i love animals i don't have any preference uh but i've never had a cat i actually uh, always go to my cousin's place and play with her cat <laughs> <laughs> when i had four dogs at home so okay. <laughs> which is which as far as we share love with them and give them affection uh, they are like humans you know so okay. there's no real preference for dog or cat okay that's that's a good one money or love l'argent ou l'amour mm. <laughs> l'argent ou l'amour <laughs> l'amour toujours l'amour I would choose love Love, okay. I would choose love um, because you can have money and be sad 
you can have money and uh, having no love, no family, no friends. But when you have love, you have everything you want. That is a good answer. I think Gabriela heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Because she's all I'm into money. Sure she's, yeah, I'm she's all into sure money right now. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we make a good balance. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. Next one. Do you like pop music or opera? Ooh, I like opera. Opera? I like classical music because, you know, uh, when I paint, uh, I love listening to classic music because it gives me more inspiration and I feel more emotional with classical music. Okay, good one. My friend Phil is asking, do you prefer fried chicken or barbecue chicken? Since you will be going <laughs> to New Orleans. <laughs> um, I prefer barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken? Yeah, it's, mm, it's closer to Cajun. Because, yes, because I'm... Yeah. I'm used to fried chicken and I want to uh, experience more to, to change. When you That's travel, right. you discover it's time to, it's time to change, to taste new things. Exactly. And that's part of your whole journey, you know? Definitely. That's wonderful. Next game, your favorites. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is turquoise. Turquoise. Oh, wow. Yes. So for those of you who do not know what turquoise is, it's turquoise in English. <laughs> it's a mix, it's a mix of blue and green, uh -huh. but pastel color. Pastel. Not the dark one, the pastel one. Right. I love it because it reminds me of my of my lagoon in Mauritius. <gasps> Ooh, the color, the color, tur the turquoise the color. color. Yes. Uh -huh. Are you giving us a hint about the color of your gown? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We'll see about that. It's going to be another surprise. What is your favorite flower? Oh, my favorite flower is the uyi. What is it? The uyi flower. The uyi. Oh, carnation in English. Carnation yes. in English. Yes. In French is uyi. Okay, got it. This is yeah, it is. Carnation. It represents love. It represents dis distinction. And devotion, and this is what um, I'm into. So I do everything with love. I do all all my best to make the difference, and this represents me well. What color would the carnation be? Turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be the, it deep, the deep red. The deep, deep red, red is yeah my favorite. Um, if ever you you you're going to meet me, bring me some carnation. All right, Miss uh, <laughs> Universe Organization, if you're watching this show, I'm asking that you please bring fresh bouquet of red carnations every day to Miss Mauritius's room, okay? You, you, you're a very rich organization now, so I'm sure you can afford <laughs> fresh flowers for Miss Mauritius every day, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure but, they have so, so much important things to do. There's okay. some more to do than bringing me flowers, right? I'd rather yeah. share the flowers with the whole world <laughs> with exactly. only one, one girl. <laughs> what is your favorite fashion accessory? Shoes. Earrings? Shoes? Yeah. All right. Let's be honest, yeah. Alexandrine. <laughs> Soyons francs. Uh, how many pairs of shoes did you bring with you? <laughs> around five or six. Oh come on that's it yes six pairs? yes because it will uh, make my luggage uh be too heavy and i will have to pay for excess <laughs> all right I, I that's a good one with me. i bring the essential and always having one very fashionable stylish that will fit uh, all the clothes also. Okay, that's good. So how many suitcases are you bringing? Four or five? Four to five. Four to five. Only. Okay, all right, that's not too bad. 
What is your favorite drink? It's not good for health, but <laughs> what is it? It's uh, it's coffee. Coffee. I can drink a lot of coffee. I love coffee. coffee. Listen, yeah. coffee is good for you. I <laughs> I drink I drink three cups of coffee every day. It's good for you. Oh, your then, then perfect. It's good for your brain. It's good for your memory. Yes. With moderation, everything moderation. with moderation. Yes. Exactly. I love coffee. It's the best for me. Now, do you how do you how do you prepare your coffee? Do you add milk, cream, sugar, or just black? No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. Uh, with a little bit of milk, not too much. And here you go for the journey. You can hit the journey. <laughs> okay. Good. What is your favorite spice? Oh, the masala. <gasps> oh, the garam masala. Oh, yeah, me too. The masala in chicken curry, you know, the yes. most yes. famous chicken curry. Very, <laughs> very, very Indian. I love it. I, if I love you Indian. Come to Mauritius, if you come to Mauritius, promise yes. me that oh, you're definitely. going to visit me and I will cook the chicken curry for you. Okay. I do the best chicken curry. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I'll take your offer. What is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit? Mango? Um, Coconut? Banana? <laughs> no, it's kiwi. Kiwi? Kiwi, yes. Oh, the green fruit. You know about right? the kiwi. It's, it? it's a little fruit. Yes. Green inside. inside. You do have the yellow one inside. But it's so rich in uh, protein, yes. vitamin, yes, nutrients. It's very good. Now, do you eat the skin too? Or do you peel it no, off? No, I don't. Peel this. I peel it. Because <laughs> okay. right. some people uh, eat the skin because most of the nutrients are found in the skin, so that's why. Yeah, mm, that's I respect that choice, but it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Phil is at, is saying, uh, I think Miss Mauritius has the longest flight to New Orleans. Is that true? How long did it take you to, to fly, to travel from your country to New York and New York to New Orleans, right? Oh, it's it's very long. It's 24 hours flights. So I had to do um, a stop by Dubai and have a connection there to go to the US. So it's very long. And I have like nine hours uh, difference from US to Mauritius. So when I go to sleep, my family is waking up. And <laughs> when when I wake up, they are going to sleep. So we barely talk, right. but uh, it's worth it, right? It's That's worth wonderful. It. So actually, you are going to Los Angeles. Is it tomorrow or the next day? Normally, we will be going to Los Angeles tomorrow. But, you know, there are a lot of flights being canceled because of the, of the, weather. Of the bad weather in the U.S. Yeah, so yeah. better be safe right. so we can reach Miss Universe. Uh, in a hole in one piece. <laughs> okay. Well, what are you doing in Los Angeles? Is this for more fittings, more dresses, more gowns? Yes, yes. Actually, it's for more fittings with trainings and uh, the national costume also. So it's it's all about preparing ourselves for uh, for Miss Universe. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful. Last game. Would you rather? Tell me, would you rather be a famous movie director or a famous actress? <laughs> I would say I would rather be a, a famous movie director because director. I will uh, I will gain much more uh, from I will learn much more from the actress. I can um, be an inspiration for more people and create uh, more. Uh, and, and have more money also with films. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right, right, yes. That's that's good to know. Well, not only that, because I think if it's, it's, it's more, it's, it's a bigger challenge to direct a movie than to act mm -hmm. in a movie, because uh, it's, it's hard to direct different personalities in the movie set, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's your big challenge. And it's a lot of hard work, so yeah, 
I th I think you I think you, you'll make a wonderful famous director someday. We'll see. <laughs> I I hope famous. so. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you you you're, you're, you should be able to exploit your creative and your artistic uh, talent. So that's good. Would you rather be stuck in an elevator or stuck on a ski lift? Oh my god! What is this question? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> I think I, I wouldn't like to be stuck anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but you have to choose. It could happen to you someday. <laughs> um, I would say elevator because in an elevator, and there are so many things which can happen, right? <laughs> well, that's true, but you can be stuck in an elevator forever. The doors may never open. No, not forever. There's always someone who will come to uh, to save your life because it's only about technical issues. But if you are on a ski, uh, stuck in a ski, you can die. Like you can die being frozen or freeze, or I don't know, uh, being yeah, but, attacked by an animal. <laughs> but at least you have a beautiful view of the mountains, of the snow. <laughs> no, I leave it for you. If you <laughs> Girl, I you're too funny. You. <laughs> Here's a good one. Would you rather eat with your hands or eat with utensils? With my Island hands. Girl. No. Hands. With my hands. Okay. Because you said that uh, you taste better the food with your hand. That is so true. That is so true. Yeah. And it's more natural too. You know, when you eat with of your hands. Of course. Because when, when, when your hands actually feel feel the food, and then just before mm -hmm. you put it in your mouth, you you savor it, you smell it, and then you oh, you eat it. <laughs> so, wonderful, right? Rather than using that's like what, stupid utensils, a fork <laughs> and a knife and a, and a fourchette, cuillère, no. who cares? Well, it depends on, on where you are. Actually, if you are in a good restaurant, in a French restaurant or Italian restaurant, you won't be eating with your hands. That's true. I mean, there are, there are foods adapted to, to eat with your hands. For example, if you are eating on a banana leaf with uh, yeah. a various curries and farratas, then you'll be eating and appreciating the food with your hand. Uh, you see, it depends on, on the food, actually. That's true. That's true. You know, like finger foods. You have to use your, your, your hands. Like with, when you're eating a pizza, obviously, uh -huh. you have to use your hand, right? When you're eating popcorn, mm -hmm. you have to use your hands. Um, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Good. Would you rather go to dinner alone or go to a concert alone? <laughs> uh -huh. I would rather go to a um, dinner alone. Dinner alone? Yes, because uh, in dinner you can embrace yourself and uh, share, spend time with yourself. But a concert is uh, to share with someone else, to share with friends, creating mm -hmm. memories, discovering uh, uh, new things, uh, meeting new people. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think you want to go to dinner alone because just in case some food gets stuck in your teeth, you don't. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want people like seeing you like pulling like a food out of your teeth. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be embarrassed. Okay. I don't mind with that. I don't mind. It's human, right? It's it's normal. Like I don't mind with that. That's true. It, it happens that's to true. anyone. It happens to all of us. Yeah, but it shouldn't happen to a beauty queen. A beauty queen is still a human being. <laughs> yeah, but we want to see beauty. We don't want to see like, you know, food stuck in your teeth. Like this. <laughs> this is the technique. <laughs> oh, dear. Hilarious. Last question. Would you rather get a brand new house or a brand new car? A brand new house. Why? Yeah, a brand new house because in a house you feel safe. In a house you 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 can live longer, but in a car you can have an accident. You can die one like in a minute. <laughs> a car it's it's something that you can buy. Um, like it's 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 only a material, but in a house you can build a family. 
you can share memories, you can spend time. Um, it's more, uh, I must say, it's more a life creating a space rather than in, in a car. You can't mm -hmm. spend a life in your car. Well, that's that's true. That's true. We all, everybody needs a house to live in because it's a, it's a necessity. A car is not always a necessity because you can always rely mm -hmm. on public transportation or yeah. on friends, you know, to drive you to some place where you want to go. So yeah, but a house is definitely more important. That's wonderful. My friend um, Summer from Crown Sisters is asking this question. Okay, this is a, a serious question. What makes you different from the past contestants from your country that will give you an advantage this year? Good question, Summer. Thank you. Yes. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, all the work that has been done in the previous years, uh, I've learned so much from them. And now I know uh, how to stand out and what to do to make the difference. And I think that uh, I can represent uh, not only the small island, but uh, I can represent uh, women from different countries making uh, the whole universe actually. And I hope that uh, Miss Universe sees it and hear my voice um, to, to stand out. That's an amazing, amazing response. Uh, yes, I think you will definitely, definitely stand out. From the moment you were crowned Miss Universe Mauritius, everybody just made, automatically put uh, put you on their favorites list. So you are definitely making a big impact already, definitely. And I'm just so excited for you. I, I'm really, we're, we're the whole universe is actually looking forward to see you shine on stage on January 14th. And you know what? No matter what happens, win or lose, you, you are already uh, a winner. And, mm -hmm. you know, in, in people's hearts, you have made a lot of people fall in love with you, so to speak, because of your beauty, your elegance, you know, your grace and, you, and your, natural, your natural warmth. And you're very, very relatable. And I think that's one important aspect that Miss Universe is looking for in a winner, uh, somebody who is very relatable. And I think you can relate with all kinds of people. You know, from thank you, thank from, you, from, and I hope that it encourages also uh, the Mauritian girl to uh, get into pageants, not to see it only like a beauty pageant, but uh, a legacy, a, a way to share the voice and to share about Mauritius to the whole world. So I hope that um, next year, uh, the next Miss Mauritius who will go to Miss Universe uh, could do more than I did, and why not to, to do uh, more effort to be placed or even to be the winner if I don't win. But you know what? You're already one big hard act to follow. I think uh, whoever is going to, su to succeed you next year has a very tough shoes to fill because you've already created a, a huge impact on, uh, on people, on, on the pageant industry. So that's, that's wonderful. Listen, Alexandrine, uh, Je te remercie beaucoup pour m'avoir rendu cette opportunité pour, <laughs> pour cette interview. Merci à toi. Merci à toi. Thanks to you for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to voice out and to share my uh, pageant life with you and the whole world who is watching, actually. Exactly. Thank now, you for being here. Yeah. So, uh, Critical Beauty uh, Salon viewers, please follow Alexandrine on her social media. On Instagram, I will include it in the description box below so you can follow her. And I believe you're also on Facebook. You have a Facebook page as well, correct? Yes, I do have a Facebook page. You can follow me. You can add me, uh, Alexandrine Belitoile, on Instagram. So you can follow my journey mm -hmm. and vote for me. Vote <laughs> on the for Mauritius. App. Vote for Mauritius, people. I know it's a small country, but you never know. It, You know, I mean, they're... You know, there are many people who love you, and I'm sure you know, it doesn't matter where they come from, you know, they will do their best to actually vote for you. And it's time, it's time for other countries to actually make the top list, the top 20 list. 
Okay, because every yes, every you. year is the same countries over and over again. You know, let's give a chance to the other countries that also deserve yes. a spotlight. You know, on definitely, definitely. We have so much to offer to the world. We have so much to share. Mm -hmm. So uh, why not? Yes, why not? Well. Let's go for Listen, a change. So I'm gonna give you virtual kisses. And the thanks for having me. Hug. And, thank you so much. <laughs> and we will be following your journey and we will be watching you shine on stage on Mission Diverse on January 14th in New Orleans. Okay. Yes. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the evening and keep practicing, keep thinking positive, and imagine that you're Always. already the winner. You're already the Always. winner. Always in the heart. And I can't wait to spread love with everyone. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for having me. People, thank you for watching. And we'll see you in New Orleans on January 14, 2023. Good night. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Bonsoir.